You all lived in the Millennium Towers. You're all neighbors. That's good. It's good to see people sticking together. Sticking together is what gets us through hard times. I learned about that in the army. Sticking together was all that kept us alive when we'd go out on patrol. All we had was each other. Everybody else could have been trying to kill us. We'd never know. That's when you learn who your people are. I didn't know anybody like them when I came back. Not until I wound up here in the bottoms. You probably didn't even know that's what it was called over here. That's what all the dealers and the cops and social workers called it before we took over. The bottoms. You can't get lower than the bottoms. Every day from anywhere I went, I could watch them working on your building. I remember thinking how it looked like something out of the future. And then here we were, just a couple blocks away, running around looking for food, making shelters out of whatever we found like we were in the Stone Age. This must be embarrassing for you, having to ask us to take you in. That must be very embarrassing. I know all about embarrassing. People thought just because we were out here on the streets that we didn't care about having pride, but we did. Everybody was trying to take it away from us, even people who didn't know that that's what they were doing. These yellow-headed Christian kids would come down here every Friday, all of them dressed in their bright blue sweatshirts with the name of their church on the back. They'd stand in a circle when they got out of their vans and hold hands and pray before they passed out their food and went ministering to us. They stood in the middle of the block and prayed for God to give them the opportunity to save our wretched souls. Talked about us to God right in front of us where we could hear them and everything, like we couldn't do it ourselves. I heard somebody talking with God every night I slept on the street. If a man around here had come by a tent or got himself a new jacket, he might be feeling pretty goddamn good about himself. Something like that can go a long way in a person's mind. But then he'd see those kids coming, talking, God to him like he was so far beneath them and he'd know his place hadn't changed. They do all that to us for the price of a sandwich. You'll never find a preacher living on the streets. The people who lost their jobs were the ones who did honest work. When things started falling apart, church people were the first to stop coming around. End times were what they'd been waiting for all along. We were just here to punch their ticket into heaven. We left them some food when we raided their warehouse. We told them which way to go so their women didn't get raped and themselves all hacked to pieces. We turned the other cheek. People trying to take our pride away is the reason we're in charge now. These two suits would come and scream at us in the night. They made a habit of it. They come off the freeway in their white sports car, slow down, stick their heads out the windows, and scream at us in our tents and sleeping bags, and then drive off. Once or twice a week, they do this. Same time every time, around two in the morning after the bars closed. They must have lived somewhere around here. Maybe in the Millennium Towers. Maybe you all knew them. We knew things were falling apart before anybody else did. We'd notice how the police drove by less and less and then not at all. We'd heard the planes passing overhead farther and farther apart. We listened to your world fading away. We knew when the time came to kill them. If they'd been listening, if they'd had common sense instead of just money in a car, they would have known it too. We made a spike strip out of a chain link fence, laid out with some concrete blocks and rebar and change we got from a construction site. I posted scouts to give the signal when they saw the car coming. Those boys were still alive when we dragged them out. One of them even had some juice left in them after we hung them up on the exit sign. A warning. We waited for someone to come down on us, but no one came that night. Then a whole day went by and the guys' bodies were still up there. And we knew 
nobody would ever be coming. Nobody knew the streets like we did, where all the food was, where all the good places to hold up were. Defensible positions, weapon stashes. It was all ours. Finally, I was back in an army. Here we thought we were the most wretched souls alive, but come to find out, we were just being trained to inherit the earth, just like they said. And now you've come down out of these towers to ask us to take pity and give you shelter and food and protection. You are not our people. I will tell you which way to go, but you all waited too long. Things have got so bad now outside of our gates, any which way you walk, you're gonna run into trouble. So I think what you all ought to do is go back to what you know. It's all just part of the plan. <laughs>